Hi guys, my name is Bonaventure and I'm going to talk on a topic titled Take Your Best Shot. Um, taking your best shot relates to optimum performance, which means doing your best in everything you do. Um, at the end of this course, you will actually um, get to learn about how to take your best shot in relation to your optimum performance you will also learn the four key pillars of you know optimum or optimum performance um so let's take this um when you hear about take your best shot i know things um certain things come to your mind if you're a photographer you'll be thinking about how to pick, take that best shot um if you're a foot, um, footballer you will maybe think about how to give your goal <laughs> of course all this relates to um taking your best shot it's just more like in whatever you do whether whether personal things or um individual uh, whether personal things or your organization um whatever project that you find yourself in it's about giving your best so um sometimes um our best um cannot maybe the peak or uh, our best can be just barely surviving but um you can actually improve if you are actually conscious of you know um what you're doing if you are really want to improve yourself which um is talking about taking your best shot in whatever you do so i'm going to introduce and talk about optimum performance optimum performance is actually um, um is that your ability to do the best you can do in any environment sometimes the best is your peak and sometimes um the be your best is just you surviving that's um to say that most of the times um you say i'm doing you hear people say i'm doing my best i'm doing your best sometimes your best is not enough because your best can just be you um trying to survive at that point but then if you have to take your best shot if you take your best shot you consider things that will help you to actually give your best in in whatever you do so that will lead us to what we call um the four pillars of optimum performance so we're going to be talking about the four pillars of optimum performance what will make you to perform um at your peak which will be your best shot as in when you put yourself in a situation where you know that at the end of um, a project or whatever you do you will understand that you have given your best so we'll look at the four pillars of optimum performance which will help you to understand why you have to actually plan yourself and put yourself together and be ready to give your best shot so let's look at the four pillars of optimum performance all right so sometimes mostly in life you can you know um, control what happens to us um, but you can actually um, determine how you react to what happens to us and you, to, you hear about uh, change is constant um, one thing in life is that change change comes but how you react to the change determines how you know um, you control um, the outcome of the change in, in relation to you as a person so that being said there are that's what we call four pillars of um optimum performance that's if you want to actually um be at your best if you want to do your best there are certain things you need to do and these are um scientifically proven that when you um one of the things you need to do um to get your optimum performance as in which we guarantee you um taking your best shot is first thing in your life is for you to um it's it's called um the first thing you need to look at is nutrition one thing you need to do in order to give your best in life is one you should take care of your eating habit eat the right food um do um do the the things that can eat the things that can actually improve um your living you don't just eat whatever you see but you understand that but you need to eat um very well um eat your best food and the best food that can actually help you so nutrition is one of the things that will help you um to get your optimum performance because when you eat well you are guaranteed to 
you know be to live healthy so another thing is you should be getting um you should get another one of the other four um, pillars of optimal performance is getting enough sleep right you are told doctors have said that it's important that you get maybe at least nine um, eight hours of sleep eight to nine hours of sleep every day so you shouldn't take this for granted you should always try and make out time to sleep when you sleep you will be well rested and it will bring you to you know um get to um perform at your optimum um level another thing you need to take serious which is one of the pillars of optimum performance is exercising it's important that no matter what you do every day you make out time to exercise this keeps your body um well, as up to date, it will make you feel free. It will make you um, burn calories as well. It will make you, um, um, it will help your brain to think well. Of course, you know, if you wake up every morning and you take out one hour to do your workout, that brings every other vein, every other um, 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 thing in your body. It revives you. It helps you to burn calories you sweat and you have to bath and feel good so one of the key, um, four pillars of optimum performance is having to do your exercise so that your brain can uh, actually work um well perfectly another thing is the environment that you be in they say cleanliness is next to god godliness and it's important that you keep your um, environment clean and as well even in your office you should have an office where you can, after working for some hours, you can stand up, you know, and walk around the office or you have space to breathe. You know, um, this one is, is not let the poor breathe. I'm, I'm talking about where um, your office or where you stay should be well ventilated so that you can breathe. As well. So it's important that you look at these four pillars of optimum performance, which will help you to actually work at your uh, at your peak, and as well, you know, be able to take your best shot. So I've mentioned you have to eat well, which is nutrition. You have to sleep well, which is which will give you make you run away from um, health issues because if you sleep well, you will you will be agile. You'll be um, very very. Um, 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 open to uh, to understand um, everything around you, right? If you exercise, you keep your, you make yourself be uh, an on alert, and also your environment determines you know how you actually um, uh, and can and do certain things. When you are sitting in the office, you can sit for an hour. You can be able to stand up and walk around, or during your lunch time, you can be able to walk around. These things are very important. For you to actually um, perform at your optimum level so in conclusion i'm going to read this out when you are working on your peak performance the most important thing to remember is that it takes a lot of discipline it can be hard to stay focused and consistent without taking care of yourself and making sure that you get enough sleep exercise and nutrition and hydration but i promise that if you keep at it these habits will become easier over time so don't give up so you don't have to give up what happens is that for you to perform at your optimum level you need to take these four pillars you know of um, optimum performance very important you need to make it um you need to decide on how you actually eat on how that you exercise and that you keep the environment you are in um, safe and as well that you sleep get enough sleep so it's important these are key you know things that you need to do to perform at your optimum level so that at the end of the day you'll be able you'll be strong enough to take on the challenges of life so with this i understand that i you i i want to agree that you understand the best way 
you know, to prepare yourself to perform at your optimum level in everything you do. Because um, just like they say, health is wealth. If you are strong and healthy, you are actually going to perform at your optimum level. Thank you very much.